There we go. Let's see if we can play. Maybe we'll turn some music on. I'd probably do that. Let's see. Probably need some music in the in the video. Maybe that might work better. All right, let's get it going. We're going to be doing some cooking on here. Let's see. How do I use this? YouTube music. There we go. You guys ready? We're gonna be cooking some uh, hot dog stew. Let's gotta figure out how I use this music. Gaming. I can watch myself on this big screen. I do that. Um, mix for you. Super mix. Should we get super mix? My mix. Ghost Town DJs. R. Kelly. All right, sounds like we're going for that. Wait, no. Oh, my, my song's on here. All right, perfect. Let's get going. You guys ready? Can I do it? Previous. There we go. Can you guys hear it? All right, what do you guys think? All right, let's go. Let me turn the light on here. Boom, boom, boom. Let me hear you say way All right, hot dog stew is what we're making. What a mofo. You can hear it? Good. It's not too overpowering, right? All right, let's see. Flip the camera. All right. Let me get a knife. Where's the good knives? There's my good knife. All right, you guys ready? So we got the sausages that we're gonna have to work with. Let's give this an open. That's gonna give us five. This is a whole pound of sausage. So this is a nice, easy, cheap meal that'll feed a bunch of people. In fact, you know, you can make it with hot dogs if you want, but we're gonna make it with the sausages. So let's see what we got here. I don't know, I think we'll go with a quarter inch. What do you think? Quarter inch seems good. I'll give you a good bite. But you're not there. I gave you my love, but you don't care. Where's that? That'd be perfect. We're set. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Let me see if I can do it like. Let me put this back some more. There. I'm cutting not in the words. Make sure these get all separated. I don't want to play any. We touch them together. Siamese twin sausages. There we go. That's a little chubby one. Some of these are a little bit bigger. I listen to the same two hour mix. Almost four times a day. I'm gonna eat this one. You're gonna see it. Ah, hamburger soup. We're making a thing called hamburger soup. It's actually, you can look up Hoover Stew. It was a recession era cheap meal that was served in, in kitchens and stuff like that. So it's a pound of hot dogs or sausage, a pound of pasta. Two cans of diced tomatoes, one can of, of uh, corn, one can of beans. You can add two cans of beans, some seasoning, 
a little bit of pepper we're going to add in. That's it. It's really just a dump recipe. That sauce is pretty good. See, I told you, look, I got a connector. All right, we're going to be sauteing these up in a second. Oh. So we went shopping earlier with TikTok on here. Pick some things up. So it's real easy. This is what it is. So we have some seasoning. We got the meat already cut. We got can of diced tomatoes. I got the ones with the chilies. Two of those. We leave all the liquid in these. We got the can of corn. We went with a northern bean, but we drained those and rinsed those because I feel beans always need to be. And we're going to use some chicken stock. Usually use the water, but we're going to uh, deglaze all that in a second. So we're going to turn on our stove. So make sure you guys hit that follow button. Tell a friend. Usually we're gaming, but we do some other things. Like I said. Just the sauce. That's what I'm saying, man. We're going for it. All right, so we got this heating up. All right, so we're heating up this pan. Get it going. We're going to use a wood spoon. And then we're going to throw in our peppers. Or not our things. Oh, we got the Serrano. Sorry, I forgot the Serrano. What's a man, Jenna? Uh, throw some hot peppers in there. So Ben said, let's go ahead and go with this. Two Serrano peppers was only 19 cents. These are pretty big. So we're going to cut off the, uh, the end here. We're going to cut off the tip. That way we get a little hollowness in there. And we're going to give it a, uh, just a single split. Well, let's cut in one time this way and then this way. There's one, two, three. There we go. And four. There. We'll get that in there. That should be enough. Like a quarter? Yeah, it was, I mean, super cheap. Yeah, we're going to do that. Yeah, we're going to be putting the sausage in. I was just getting it all prepped. This is everything that's going in there. This is the whole recipe. Seasoning in that. That's it. Oh, I lied. We got this. Pound of macaroni. So that's the whole, the whole kit. Let me see if I can screenshot this myself. There. Good enough. All right. Here we go. All right. We heated this up a little bit. We're just going to throw all this in the pan. Let's turn the fan on here while we're sauteing. Yeah. It's a pound. <coughs> oh man, I maced myself. Don't put your face over the pan. The pan's going on high. Ben, I pepper sprayed myself. So we'll see how much this actually gives us. Yeah, we'll add some seeds. Got them all. There we go. Woo! 
was like I maced myself. I had the pepper spray. <laughs> Guys, make sure you share, tap that screen. You know, I'm not, I'm not the best man. I'm just a normal person that cooks some stuff. I mean, this isn't anything special. But I do like to cook some, and I like to hang out with my friends. And uh... Ryan, man, you got that dark badge. Thank you so much, man. Thank you for the fires, Sebastian. I can barely see. What the four and the one? Thank you. I don't want to miss anything here, guys. So this is called uh, hot dog stew, but we're making it with sausage. This is a Depression era food. So during the Depression, this was made in a lot of soup kitchens because of how much it stretched. Give this meat a good a good flavoring. It's going to add in. No, I don't want to add the olive oil because it's just going to make it. I don't want to add any oil on top. There's already enough grease in here, and we're going to be adding stuff. So I think just adding the oil is going to be a bit much. Like the fat's already coming off here. We're good. We're going to deglaze this, so it's okay. In a second. Oh no, it's not sticking. It's well. It's good. We're going to hit with the deglaze in a second. We're trying to get some brown on here. Let me taste one of these. Mm. My piece. Yeah. No worries, man. I know. it's It ain't easy. Life been getting crazy. Are those bell peppers? No, these are two serranos. We're going to add a little bit of heat, but it's, it's not going to be much heat. It's not going to be much heat. Alright, so up on deck, we're going to hit it with a little splash of some chicken stock. Just to hit it with the deglaze, and then we're going to dump in our other stuff. But we're going to let this go. To get that off. Yeah, we just want to add a little bit of seasoning. You see it getting a little bit brown? It's got a little bit of curl to it. You can see a little bit of curl. We'll get a little bit more. This is a super easy recipe. Alright. Got some flipping. See them turning inside out and stuff and got the curl. A little bit thicker, so it's going to do a little puff. All right, we're good here. All right, let's hit with this. We're on medium. Got the little deglaze. We're about to throw in the tomatoes. Lift that up, and here's the tomatoes going in. We're on a medium heat. There's tomato number one. Tomato number two. Now, something that a lot of people don't know is if you cook, you gotta cook your tomatoes. But uh, we have that corn that we're gonna be put in too. But you wanna put the corn in last. If you overcook corn, it gets tough. Corn's the last thing. So, all that good browning that we got on there is off. We're gonna bring this up. And heat it up a little bit. So I get this to almost a little boilish. Give it a little bit in there. A little kickstart. You just put it together so it feels right? Yeah. You want to get these tomatoes going though. Because the tomatoes, you gotta get this cooked a little bit, these are gonna soften. And then when we put the pasta in here, we're gonna be just about right. And the pasta is gonna suck up that juice. So we just gotta wait for that. Start 
hit it with some seasoning in here. Let's hit it with some onion powder. Can't go wrong with onion powder. That seems about good. We season it a little bit more because we're gonna be adding in other stuff too. So we got that. Got some garlic powder in there. Let's hit it with the good old Tupperware black pepper. There we go. Got some pepper in there. Now, never ever do that with the salt. Ever. Always salt into the hand. Let me control how much. We got some tomatoes in there, so that's a fair amount. We'll hit it like that. Yeah, I think it is. Because it's going to soak up some of the water. I mean, it's only one pound of pasta. This is a six quart uh, container. So, yeah, I think it should be more than enough. Got this. We're going to uh, put a lid on it. Help it get there a little bit faster. So, we're going to throw these away. Save that lid. Tomato can thrown away. Boom. So, the few other ingredients we have we have the chicken stock that's going to be going in. Towards the end, we're going to hit it with the corn and the corn juice. And then we're going to add in some uh, great northern beans as well into the mix. So, we're doing things. This is what y'all is going to be eating for dinner tonight. So, we're going to be hitting that up. Starting to cook a little bit faster. There we go. Oh, it smells so freaking good right now. Let me hit it here. Get that good thing up on there. So then we're going to add in the, the pasta. We're using elbow macaroni because it's nice and easy. Easy to use. So this is a whole recipe, man. A pound of macaroni noodles, two cans of tomatoes, some stock. You can use water. I got stock. Two cans of diced tomatoes, a can of beans. You can put two in there. You can put, uh, you put the corn in. You can add other stuff. I forgot to grab onion. Nobody reminded me to grab onion. All that good stuff. What do you guys think so far? Watching the watch, watch pot. All right. There, yeah, we got a good boil on that. All right, let's hit it with the stock. We're gonna need enough. We might have to add in some more. That should be enough. We'll find out. We might need to put more in. But we gotta bring this to a boil real fast. I don't want the beans to fall apart. Throw weight on the beans. Bring that to a boil. And we gotta put the noodles in. And then about I think five minutes or so before the noodles are done, we're gonna add in the beans and the corn. And we'll see. We may have to add some water to the noodles. Not sure, but the noodles say they cook for ten minutes in boiling water. Eight to ten minutes. So we'll probably cook about eight or so. And then we're going to hit it with some cheese in the bowl, and I got some sour cream. So in the meantime, this show is totally not brought to you by the following.
Totally not brought to you by C4, but we're going to try this. We said we'd try it. We got the human, superhuman C4 Skittles. Let's see what it tastes like. They could have lied and told me it was just grape. It tastes like grape. You gonna wake me up? <laughs> Alright. We're not boiling yet, but we got the lid on, so hopefully it boils faster. I don't know. Did you guys watch this, the last stream? Like, I tried putting a vertical. Some people said vertical has been doing a lot better. Tastes like seals. It just tastes like grape. I didn't set up for Twilight Princess. I just set up one just now for Zelda. I have the dual screen, so I have the the touch screen at the bottom, so you guys see all the inventory, all the hearts and shit. And at the top, it's the game, and then myself up here. You're in the bed. Don't leave me, Alyssa. I'm going to take a bite of this uh, carne asada steak. <laughs> All right, let's go back over here. I don't know, it didn't taste that. It tastes like grape, my guy. Got a simmer. It's smelling pretty good. Still getting her going. You think it boils faster with the lid on it? Where's set the timer? Ah, share it. This is an easy recipe, Alyssa. You can make it. It's just a pound of macaroni and cheese, one box of this, two cans of tomatoes, one can of bean, one can of corn, and a pound of sausage or hot dogs. Think it does help? We'll go for it. Your roommate made carne asada yesterday. Uh, <laughs> I got some cooking snack. I was hungry. It does boil faster. Look at that. Alright, here we go. It says eight minutes. The timer. Eight minutes. We're going in. Here it goes. <coughs> there we go. Hit the start. Should we later or no? Lit it, boil it off. I think we'll go like this. We'll go this way. We got it in there. We give some stirs too. Keeping it on. I feel we need to stir it. We just put pasta in here so it's going to drop down. So I feel I don't want it to stick. Right? Pasta went to the bottom, it might stick. Those are things that happen. We don't want to do that. I have a question. Do you think you can make jerky in the air fryer? If you can make jerky in the air fryer, oh, we're boiling. Oh, well, yeah, I totally would. We're making hamburgers or hot dog stew.
We got six minutes left. There's a recipe on YouTube. I had family that used to make this. My grandma used to make it super easy. She's like, this is it. There we go. Jerky needs low heat. Oh, it might be good. Cat, where you been all my life? You just vanished one day. I haven't seen you in forever. I've seen that face. How you been? How's the family been? I fucking miss you. We're still going. You're in college? Man, that's good. I remember when you were having issues with that roommate thing or whatever. And uh, what's her name? I forgot her name. Pretty good. Pretty good. I do pretty good on TikTok. I'm on multiple platforms. Sometimes we cook, most of the times we play games. We're going to be doing some. Uh, some uh, duck races for purses coming up. So on Wednesdays, we're gonna start doing that. All right, it says we still have four minutes left. Four minutes. Well, I'm good. I'm glad. Yeah, we're going to, uh, the show here is going to Vegas at the end of April. We're doing our second convention. Yeah, hit me on Instagram. Link in my bio and hit the Instagram. Hit me with a follow on there and send me a message. That way I can find you. There's those Serranos. I'm excited. Look at this. You see the noodles are starting to thicken. Yeah. Working for the post office. So we got three minutes left, it says. That'll be at eight minutes. That'll give us time to put the other stuff in. Three minutes, that's what I was saying. We're going to put these in. We got the beans. Good call. We almost got distracted. Corn with the corn juice. There it is. So make sure you guys hit that share button. Tell a friend. This is the easiest recipe on the planet to make. You know, with food costs being so damn high, this stretches so far. Look at that. Hit this all up. Look at it thickening there. This stuff's almost going to be done. So we added that in there. It's easier on my body. It pays less, but easier on my body. It's a federal job, so now wherever I go in the United States, I make the same amount. So it starts you off at 20, and then when you get converted like I just did, they put you at like 24 60 an hour, and then you get a raise every nine months. And all the medical benefits and the two retirement plans and stuff. We're almost done here. Two minutes. Look how easy that was. Once we get to two minutes, I'll be eight. It says eight to ten. We're going to uh, do a little taste and some little bit of seasoning on here. Let me grab a bowl. We'll go with this kind of bowl. Um, which we use? Professional grade ladle. We'll go like that. 
<coughs> what is up, Betty? There we go. So this is a uh, hot dog stew here. We use sausages, but look at this bad boy. Super hearty. Let's make sure we get that down in there. We'll put the lid on here. You know, I might put a little bit more water in. Let's put a little bit more water in. Let's see if I get some hot water. Yeah, I think we're good. I lie, I think we're good. It's going to take it, it's going to soak it up. So we'll need two more minutes. Let's put it in there. Staying out of trouble? Yeah, I'm always out of trouble. That's my thing. You're going for a double major? A major pain? What are you going into? What are you going to do when you get out? Hopefully you're doing something good and not like liberal arts. There it is. So I said El Dente. This, uh, let me check this noodle. Yeah, we'll leave in here for about another two minutes. Timer. Two minutes. Start. That's it. Oh, you're doing pure romance? Is that the same as like Touch of Romance? It's all the adult toys and lotions and stuff like that? You could probably do really good on Clapper with that. I mean, you could do anything on Clapper. Nice. I'm glad you got everything straight. So who's all in here right now? Need to get more customers? Yeah, Clapper would be the way to go. So we're making this hamburger stew. This is about done. All right, we're all set right here. 45 seconds. All right, we're going to load this bad boy up. Got to do some tasting. Let's see. Mmm. Taste a little bit of heat in there. Everything's good. I am set. I'm gonna turn this off. Oh. We're pulling it off. We don't wanna let's see. Let's put that right there. There it is. So we're all set. We're going to dish this up, give it a stir. Let's see here. All right. Dishing it up. It's like a goulash almost. Got that Serrano in there. There we go. That looks pretty good. Everybody down. Put the lid on so it doesn't dry out. All right, now we gotta cheese it up. What's up, Miko? Just doing the dang thing, you know, living large. 
All right, we're gonna hit it with the cheese. So this stuff was like ten bucks. What is that? It's called a hamburger s or hot dog stew. It is a depression aged meal. It's one pound of hot dog or sausage. We use sausage. Um, two cans of diced tomatoes, one can of beans, and one can of corn. And we put some pepper in there, some seasoning. One pound of pasta. As soon as I can open my cheese, I'm going to put some cheese on it. It took like 20 minutes to make, 30 minutes to make. This is like the freaking Fort Knox of cheese. Oh my gosh. Whatever. Good enough. Let's hit with some cheese right there. That looks good. Oh, well, that's a lot. Oh, well. Looks good. Oops. We're here with some sour cream, too. Why not? Yeah. We're going to do a taste test and a little mukbang in a second here. There's a sour cream. We're hit with a dollop. Why not? There it is. Good. Well, let's put a little bit more. There you guys go. Let's come over and mukbang this bad boy out. You know what? Let's hit with a little Creole seasoning at the top. Why not? There we go. All right, so we got that made, and this, that name brand sour cream, we got it. All right, let's go with it. For brand of hot dogs and macaroni, uh, well, I just went generic. Generic. I got uh, some elbow macaroni from Winco. It was a dollar for a pound. And then the sausages was the most expensive part, and that was... Uh, around here oh right here it was a pound of sausage I got these uh, German uh, Zenners but you could use anything you could use kielbasa or any of that stuff would have worked all right let's see what we got yeah hit me a follow on uh, Instagram I can find you easier all right let's go with this let's see what we got Give it out, this nice little spread. The beans will add more protein on top of the meat that's in there. So we have the sauces that we brown. I'm gonna stir this up a little bit. There you go, so it's, it's like a goulash. Salt, pepper, the sour cream. The pasta is gonna stretch it out. Let's see what we got here. Got that serrano. You could have put a pepper in there, a jalapeno or something. Let's see what we got. Mm. That was so easy. You guys seen? Just brown the meat, right? You can put an onion in here too. Shit, I should have did that. Brown the meat. Get it going. A little bit of chicken stock. Oh, he's a quarter or a, a box of stock. And that's it. Saute the meat when it gets done. Then dump a little bit of stock in there. Deglaze it. Throw your tomatoes. Bring the tomatoes to a boil because you got to heat up the tomatoes. Mm. And then dump the whole thing of stock in there, bring that to a boil, season it, throw the whole bag of pasta in there, stir it, let it go. Eight to ten minutes is what it said for the pasta. I follow the directions. About four minutes out from it being done, I dumped in my beans. I used the uh, northern beans, same as navy beans, but I made sure I drained those because that liquid is kind of slimy. Dump that in. I made sure to rinse them. And the whole corn, juice and all. Tomatoes, juice and all. Don't strain any of them. Look at that. Got some cheese. Mmm. So. Thank you guys for hanging out and cooking a good meal. I'm going to eat this dinner real fast and we'll go up and play some games. So hit the follow button. We'll be playing something. I don't know what. 
but we'll be playing some games in a little bit. So I love you guys. You guys are all awesome, and I'll see you in a little bit. Bye, guys.